after you have like almost seven, eight years mm -hmm. uh, of success and uh, songs that it was, we all created together, mm -hmm. we replaced that with other singers that didn't quite fit in. You know? mm -hmm. But no, we had to do what we had to do for that particular time period. But I think uh, what's happening now that we're all back together and we are unified again. And the fans, plus with the resurgence now of uh, 70s and 80s groups coming back, mm -hmm. there's a lot of acts are getting back together. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's been great for I mean, It was a time period that we had to adjust to. And Did you meet the, the guys when you were out of them? Yeah, it was, it, you know, of course I missed them, but even beyond that, um, it was kind of sad. It was very sad, you know, when it had when it came to that point because why did it came? Why did it come to that point? Well, it, it was a number of reasons. Mm -hmm. It was um, most people may think it was because we were fighting um, over music or something. It was nothing like that. Mm -hmm. um, when I came in the band in seventy nine eighty, uh, Cool and them they were locked into a deal already, and. As I got more and more into the business after a year or two, I realized that these deals were very lopsided. They didn't favor them, mm -hmm. and now I'm locked into it because I had no idea what, what we were getting into. And it just started to deteriorate the, the, the inner core because we used to fight to make sure it didn't affect our music. Mm -hmm. We said, we're not gonna let this thing get us down. But it just got to a point where the management, we were being mismanaged, uh, there was bad contracts, and just one day I just said, after you know us going through a lot of tension and pressure, I said, look, I'm not going to become a statistic, you know, of just getting ripped off and all of this. Mm -hmm. And uh, there was so many powers to be around us that they they had ability ability to separate this guy against that guy and all this stuff. So I just said, look. It's about my life. I want to be happy with what I do. You know, if I never have another record, then so be it. But I have to go get my business together. And when I left, I spent about almost three or four years in court, just legally, mm -hmm. getting clear from contracts and really bad deals. And even though we were kind of upset with each other because we had to break, we knew that it was something good in the back of our minds that we had to do. And in turn, my action, and I won in court, has helped them, and now we're back together in the 90s and got rid of all that, those crazy headaches, <laughs> and we're looking forward to the 2000s and our future. What do you think about this revival of the disco years and the 70s and all these things that are going on with movies, with music mm -hmm. and airplay again? I, I think that a lot of radio stations, I, I put it being there during the weekends in the States, are uh, playing all these disco nights with all these so big hits with your music and some other groups and solo artists. Well, it's been uh, great for us because uh, we're in demand around the world. Mm -hmm. uh, we're touring a lot. Uh, radio is playing a lot of our old music, so mm -hmm. some of them are published to the right side. Uh, <laughs> I mean, it, it, it's, a, it's, a, it's a good period for us right now. And what do you think about sampling your tunes? It's lack of creativity? Uh, yeah. what, what, what is your opinion about this? That is a trend nowadays. How to get yeah. the, the groove, yeah. the, the most important thing, because you yeah. have to get out, <laughs> get in the groove, you know. <laughs> it's yeah. the hard part yeah. of the business. And okay, well, changing the words, blah, blah, yeah. rapping a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's the sign of the times. Uh -huh. You know, there's... Uh, I mean, you can actually make your own CDs at home now. Mm -hmm. you know? mm -hmm. So people are going to do that. We're not going to be able to stop them. We just want to make sure we get credit and get paid for it. But the, the, the downside, for, as far as I see it, is that I, I related to when we first started and we were playing in the basement and learning how to you know, master our instruments and vocals. The groups of today, when it's five years down the line and ten years later, What are they going to do? Hmm. Because they haven't established themselves as an identity. They'll be known, oh yeah, well you redid Ladies Night, or you redid well, this song. Mm -hmm. But they don't have a thing where they can go do corporate dates, which we do. Corp big corporations call us to work hmm. because we have songs, as well as hard ticket dates and doing big concerts like we're doing here. Right. Um, 
And, and I fear that because I think that some of them are so talented. You can hear that they just need something to, to get them mm -hmm. now to, to blossom. But I don't know if they are setting the foundation so that tomorrow we'll have another cool in the game. Will the next uh, John Coltrane come out of this era? Mm -hmm. You know, will it be another, uh, you know, Count Basie, or, mm -hmm. you know, or Earth, Wind & Fire, you know, or Gladys Knight and all these mm -hmm. people, you know? And I think that we have to remember that it's not just about us personally, but we have a legacy to continue. And you have to keep that in mind. That, that's just one fear I have. Maybe I'm going overboard with that, but I, I, I just hope that they uh, have a chance to show the world what they can do, you know, as artists.